The Innovative Principles of Criticism of Mustafa George Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Praise to Allah who has allowed our Salaf to leave in their books to principles for verdicts and the reasons for criticism. Our brother Mustafa George has invented a new principle in the religion on his voice recording when he said, Farrakhan praised and thanked Tahir. And Tahir hasn't freed himself of these individuals. Unfortunately, the propaganda only increases amongst these individuals. The guilty by association fallacy requires evidence, and since none really exists, Mustafa invented the rule that if a Kafir praises you, then you must free yourself from him. Otherwise, he's considered your friend. This principle is false based on the principle in Ibn al-Rajab al-Hanbali's book, al Qawaid. Rule number two. Ibn Rajat mentioned, the hair of an animal takes a separate ruling and not the same ruling of the animal it's connected to. For example, a pig and a dog are both nedges, but their hair isn't considered nedges. Likewise, fingernails are included in this ruling as well. So if a man touched a woman's hair or her fingernails, then his wudu would still be intact. And this position is held by Imam Shafi'i who holds the view that Touching a woman invalidates wudu. Now, Farrakhan from the Nation of Islam praised Tahir and thanked him. So how can it be required for him to be considered a deviant until he frees himself, given the fact they both come from two separate theologies? Farrakhan is a Nation of Islam and Tahir is a Sunni Muslim. Both of these theories, they aren't connected. And if the ruling of a dog's hair on the dog is separate, how can two separate parties be connected here? The animal's hair takes a separate ruling and not the ruling of the animal it's connected with. So, Mustafa's George's principle is if a kafir or an innovator praises you, then you must free yourself from that praise, otherwise you suspect. So, if a kafir says, you have on a nice shirt, do I have to take the shirt off? Or... If a Jew says, nice sneakers, do I take the sneakers off and throw them away? Also, Leo Tolstoy, he praised Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as well as Michael Hart, who noted Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as the most influential leaders. So based on Mustafa George's innovative rule, we must now free ourselves from our Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, Abu Ghadda a known innovator who died in Riyadh, and a Sabonian innovator who died in Mecca, both during the time of Ibn Baz and Imam al uthaymin Now, nothing's recorded that they required Ahl sunnah of those districts to free themselves of those two individuals. So, where did Mustafa George get this principle? Furthermore, nothing has been recorded during the Ihya Tarath movement that started during the times of our great Imams, like Al-Albani, Sheikh Ibn Baz, Abdul Aziz, and so forth. Is there anything recorded that these Imams of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, they ordered the people that whenever someone visited Bin Baz, you had to free yourself from Ihya Tarath? Or did Sheikh Uthaymeen say you had to free yourself from Ihya Tarath? So, once again, I ask you, where did Mustafa George get this principle? May Allah guide him, may Allah guide all of us to what's correct. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka Hamidum Mujid assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh